Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the new Huawei Nova Plus versus the Samsung Galaxy S7. So uh, we have this uh, sort of mid-range smartphone from Huawei going up against a flagship phone from Samsung, the Galaxy S7, the mighty beast we have. And it is running the latest Android 7.0 Nougat. So things will be really interesting. So let me just quickly boot them up at the same time we go. And uh, as far as specs is concerned, we have Snapdragon 625 plus 3 gigs of RAM inside of the uh, Nova phone versus the 4 gigs of RAM plus Exynos 8890 configuration inside of the Galaxy S7. So we're going to wait for, okay, we don't have to wait because the S7 is already on. And let's see how much of a difference there will be. Uh, you can see that was around maybe like three to four seconds. So Galaxy 7 is super fast. It's out of all my phone, this is the fast phone when it comes to booting up. I'm not kidding. I, I did the comparison with the Pixel XL as well as the iPhone 7 Plus. So it is it is really fast with the Nougat. So let's just unlock this phone here real quick. You can see everything is closed in the background and we're gonna be connecting to like a similar Wi-Fi network. And you can see this one is connected and this one is also connected. So let's kick things off with the phone dollar here. Very basic stuff. Here we go. And uh, again, you guys as a judge here, I think maybe the S7 was a bit snappier there. Uh, let's see if we check out settings. Okay. Boom. That was about the same. Let's check out calculator. So... Where is the calculator thing? It's going to be in the tools folder. Yes, it is. Let's go. And again, it felt almost the same. The Galaxy 7 is like real quick with the animations. Next up, we got Smash Hit, a game. So obviously, we need to open these because we want to test out the RAM management, you know. So you can see Galaxy 7 is faster. Let's go back and check out Twitter. S7 is faster. Let's check out Viber. You can see the difference is, is uh, not like huge. I mean, obviously, again, in the start, as I mentioned, uh, the, the price difference between these two devices. So, I mean, mid-range phones are like pretty close to the uh, high-end flagship phones. Like, I mean, difference may not be that huge as you would have expected. So, uh, let's uh, launch something like uh, the Gunfu game, Gunfu 2. Let's go, and you can see the Galaxy 7. You can expect the S7 to be faster in opening up of the games. Uh, let's open up Tinder, and uh, the S7 is again uh, faster, but the difference is in front of your eyes. Let's try out Subway Surfer here real quick, Washington DC. S7 is done. We are about two or three seconds late here with this one. So let's try out camera. Let's go. And the S7 is also faster with opening up of the camera. All right, guys, time for the browser action. So for that, I'm going to be using Google Chrome on both phones. So first off, we got wikipedia.org. Let's go. And let's see which one will finish off first. And okay, the Galaxy S7 was just a tiny bit faster there. That was pretty close. Again, you guys are the judge here. So zooming in and out, really smooth on the S7. Same thing here with the uh, Nova Plus. So that is great. Like the in-browser in experience will be similar on uh, both devices. Next, we got Apple.com. Let's go and see which one can open that one up faster so okay the s7 is still taking some time it's not fully loaded and okay the the huawei nova plus finished off first so but you can see the difference was uh really close like in both phones like in, even with the first website where the s7 won so let's see the RAM management that is the most interesting part in a speed test comparison. So dollar 
opened up nicely. You can see the settings. Same thing here, no refresh. Let's check out some third party stuff. Moving on, smash hit. No refresh. Okay, pretty good. And we got Twitter. Let's see here. Wiber. Okay. That felt like a refresh. Maybe it was a refresh. You can see it showed like the black screen for some time. But again, you guys are the judge here. I'm going to leave that to you. Calculator is opened nicely. Uh, let's move on towards this game, Gunfu. Okay, you can see no refresh with that. And oops. Let's open the Subway Surfer. So you can see uh, the multitasking is top notch. Uh, even though, of course, like I said, the price difference is great, even though it's a flagship phone. But still, uh, you, if you buy uh, this phone, like if you spend $350 or whatever the price of this phone will be in your country, if you buy this phone, then you're going to get some good performance. Like uh, the reason why I do this video with like a flagship phone is because I want to show you guys that you're going to get a good performance. Like... Uh, a phone that costs three hundred dollars, three fifty dollars, is not going to be slow compared to a phone that's that is going to cost six fifty. So, uh, again, of course, this I'm not saying like this is the big reason to buy the the Nova Plus over the S7. Like, obviously, other factors comes into play like camera and, and other stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'll be doing a another video comparison if you guys like to see like a camera comparison between these two phones. So, I can do that. Uh, but uh, yeah, this was a speed test video and uh, I am impressed by the P9 Plus, uh, I mean the Nova Plus overall. Uh, it's a good phone, good high performance, high performing mid-range device. So uh, next time I'll be comparing it with the iPhone 7 Plus here that I am using as my main device. So yeah, catch you guys in the next video. Peace.